around 10% if not more of all the content on my channel and with this video this should be around 350 videos so far is related to energy monitoring or tracking both your energy and heating costs. Today we will be looking at this awesome soon to be released smart plug or and smart relay from Ever or EVVR and while we do know that Ever products are out of box HomeKit compatible, we will also check out how it works and if everything works inside Home Assistant. We'll start in a couple of seconds. First off, let's start with a couple of disclosures. This device was sent to me free of charge for the purpose of doing review and test the device. And one other thing I must mention is that this device that I'm currently testing is pre-release version of Ever Smart Plug. And the second and maybe the biggest disclaimer, this product will be released on 22nd of August, if I'm not mistaken, but it will be released on Kickstarter. And as with every Kickstarter campaign, you have to be aware, there are two or three possible outcomes. First, that the product is successfully funded and of course that later on you do receive that product. Second possibility is that the product or project is not funded enough. In that case, no money will be taken from your account, you will not lose anything, but you will also not get the device itself. And the third possibility, which is something that I do not expect in the case of Ever, which I will also mention in a couple of seconds why, is that they take your money, but at the end they never release the product itself. So as with ever Kickstarter campaign, please be careful with it. But if you do go out and buy this product while it's on a Kickstarter, you may get a significant discount. They say up to 40% of the final retail price. So if you are looking for the product like this, and this is really awesome HomeKit compatible product, then the Kickstarter may be good time. I myself have invested or funded a couple of Kickstarter campaigns. More or less all of them were successful, although I'm still waiting a year later for one of the products to be released, but I know that it is going to be sent to the backers in a couple of days. Why do I think that a risk of going for this Kickstarter campaign is lower with Ever? First of all, this is not an unknown company. The company was started in 2021, they did previously release very successful products and I did showcase those products already on my YouTube channel. Let's talk about the product itself. I really do like it and they do advertise it as a rethinking of the typical smart plug. It's more of a power cord, smart power cord, than the smart plug itself, but it falls in a smart plug category. As I mentioned, it works out of box with the home kit and the installation is really easy. You just plug it out in the outlet, which powers it, take out your iPhone or whatever device you have, scan it from the home app or home kit app, device will be recognized as a switch, add it there and you are good to go. But this is really trivial and just part of the functionality of this smart plug. Smart plugs that just turn on and off are awesome, but they are also nothing spectacular. This device on the other hand has additional benefits if you install the Ever app. Go to the app store, install the Ever app and then automatically if you've added it to the home kit, the device will be visible there. There, of course, you can control device, toggle it on and off. You can customize it, for example, to what state the device will be restored if there was a power failure, on, off or use previous state. But one additional functionality that is not available in the HomeKit or HomeKit app is power monitoring. For power monitoring, you have to use the Ever app, which is a bad thing, but also a good thing. A lot of devices require you to have a cloud connectivity. This device, on the other hand, works local only, meaning everything is kept on the device itself. And funny enough, this also means that you have unlimited storage for all the power readings. Okay, so the device can hold up to one month of power monitoring data on itself. If in period of 30 days you connect your app, Ever app, to the device, it will pull the logs and all the data will be transferred to your mobile phone, hence unlimited storage. When we talk about technical specification for this device, this is 16 amp rated smart switch, meaning that you can plug in devices up to 16 amps. 
And from what I've seen, I think it works from around 86 volts to 240 volts. So it can be used both in 110 and 220 volt environments. In terms of plugs, you have to be careful when you're ordering because all the major types of the plugs are supported. US, UK, EU, whatever, most of them are supported. One additional benefit, the physical benefit of these devices, as I mentioned, it's also power cord. There is 90 degrees angle on the power plug itself, which means that the device doesn't stick out too much from the wall. From other functionality, this device provides zero crossing, switching protection, overload or temperature, tampering proof design, button lock function, as I mentioned, 16 amps, compatible. And yes, you can even power those devices that require a little bit extra when they're powered on, as for the environment where you can use the device. This is indoor plug or indoor smart plug, so it cannot be used outside, unfortunately, because this is something that I really think would make a big difference between some other smart plugs, especially with the power monitoring functionality. I've already mentioned that device works local only, but of course you also have possibility to use it remotely or to control it from the remote location. For more details, I really do recommend that you go to the website and read all the other functionalities. Here we will focus on how to edit, which we covered, how to check the power monitoring, which we already did, and the last thing, of course, which we'll do in a couple of minutes, is how to edit to Home Assistant. But this is not just a smart plug. The same time this smart plug is released, there will be also release of the smart relay. What smart relay is, it's actually this plug, but without power cables. You can take any existing cable from a device you are using, I don't know what this device can be, it can be vent, heater, or whatever, and put this relay there and have the same functionality as you would have with the smart plug, which may be preferred option for some of you. It will be same kit, instant installation, it will work with Ever or EVVR app, and you can also do power monitoring. So you have two options, smart plug and smart relay. For all of you that are wondering, the power usage in the standby is somewhere here, 0.54 watts. If you remember last week, I released a video on the ZemiSmart power monitoring device that is installed inside the circuit breaker box. And it has the same, a little bit lower power usage. It has 0.5 watts and this one has 0.54 watts, which is just 0.04 watts more, both for the relay and the smart plug version. The link to this website, when you can read more information, of course, is down in the video description. But I also mentioned the Kickstarter campaign. As the campaign has still not started, unfortunately, I cannot show you how the campaign page looks. Now let's talk about adding this to the Home Assistant. I've already added this device to HomeKit environment via the mobile phone I have for testing. But unfortunately, you cannot have device at the two locations. For us to be able to add it to the Home Assistant, we need to remove it from the HomeKit Home app. On your iPhone, iPad or similar device, go to the HomeKit Home app, press and hold device, click on cogwheel and select Remove Accessory. Remove. Device is now removed. If we go to the Ever app, we can see that automatically device was also removed from the Ever app. Now in Home Assistant, we should see notification that new device has been discovered. Click on it. We can see Ever SPC001R detected as a switch. Click on configure. And after you enter the pairing code, which is located on the sticker on the device itself, click on submit. Select area and finish. We have now added the device to Home Assistant. And that's it. But unfortunately, if we look at what the capabilities of the device are, it does say energy monitoring smart relay slash plug, but no, we do not have energy monitoring information inside Home Assistant, which is really a shame. You can now use this as a smart plug or smart relay as a switch entity inside Home Assistant. You can hook it up to, for example, lights, and then create a virtual entity that would replace this switch with light. But that's it. Unfortunately, in my opinion, most important part of this device, and that's the energy monitoring side, which I really, really do love. Yeah, we cannot use it inside Home Assistant. 
I don't know, really don't know if this is something that will be supported later down the road or not. But yeah, at this point, unfortunately, we can only use it as a smart plug or smart relay. One additional note, although I still haven't tackled the Home Assistant slash Matter support, but I do have Hub that supports Matter in my home activated and actually added to Home Assistant, which is another topic. And I don't know if you're interested into Matter videos or not, so I haven't recorded any of them yet. Well, this device will receive support for the Matter in future. And this is according to the website. If you carefully read what they've written, are there plans for product to be compatible with other protocols such as Matter, you get a response, yes, we will release Matter versions in the future. That makes me think that the current hardware version of this device doesn't support Matter, and there will be a newer version in future that will support Matter. Or I may be completely off. And the hardware already can support Matter, but the firmware for the Matter is still not ready. Although I will try to clarify this once again with Ever, and I will pin the comment down if the new device with the Matter support will be released in the future, or if there will be a firmware that will enable Matter support or Matter protocol. I was testing this device for almost two months, and I'm really disappointed because a lot of footage that I created previously for the energy monitoring to see the trans graphs, etc., unfortunately was lost somewhere and I cannot recover it. So the videos of the energy use is something that I just re-recorded today when I re-added the device back to the HomeKit Home app. In terms of the quality of the build, this is a really high-end or high-quality device, both in terms of the plug, in terms of the wiring, and from what the relay looks or feels like. Ever doesn't have too much of devices. I know that they have Invo relays, they have these smart plugs, smart relays, but they are also preparing to launch some additional products in the future. And I think I will be able to get my hands on a couple of them to test them before they are finally released. If you did find this video useful, or if you would like to see more HomeKit slash Home Assistant enabled products in the future, give me a like and also drop me a line. And before I wrap up this video, I really would like to thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me on the YouTube and that have become YouTube channel members. Some of you have been supporting me for three years and plus. Thank you for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked, subscribed to my channel or left a comment. This really means a lot to me, especially those likes and comments, because this also helps my YouTube channel grow. The more likes, the more comments, the more YouTube thinks my videos are good, and I do really hope that they are good, and the more it recommends them to the others. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Sorry, no patrons. Or you can go to my merchandise store and buy something there. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.